First of all, congratulations on picking up BBL Player of the Month honors for December. In terms of BBL, everything seems to be going very smoothly. The team is winning. You are playing well. How would you evaluate the first part of the season in the Baltic Basketball League? I think it's, it's going pretty well so far, as long as we keep winning games. Um, as far as the Player of the Month, it's only for, for the two games that we played in December. So, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't take it for you know, for a very, like a good achievement or so, but the team is winning, we're playing well, that's all that matters. After, the start, after starting the season red hot in the domestic league, Vito has had a five game losing streak at the end of the year. What were the main reasons for this poor stretch of play in your mind and how does it affect you uh, and your confidence going forward? I think the biggest reason is our health. We only have, I mean, I mean our roster is only, eight people deep and when we lose somebody to injury it's it's kind of hard to uh, you know to keep playing without certain certain guys we played a few games without our main center uh, we played games with our main point guard and it's you know it's tough when the rotation is only like six or seven guys so as long as we stay healthy I think I think right now we're beginning to to start to click again after after all these losses so uh, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna be fine there are a lot of old faces from the 2013-14 season when you last played for Priene in the team this season. Has the club kept its charm and uniquely free-flowing atmosphere? Are there any noticeable differences? Uh, I mean, the main difference are, are you know, are the players on the team. But um, as you said, we do have a few guys that are, that are the same from, from two years ago. Uh, we still have good chemistry here. It's all, uh, all Lithuanians on the team. We don't have any communication issues between each other. Uh, most of us live together uh, over here. So uh, it's just uh, different personalities on the team that there were two years ago, but it's, it's mostly the same atmosphere. Has the stint with Lietuvos Rytas at all changed how coach Cheskus approaches things? Uh, I, he seems a little more confident, but other than that, uh, I don't think there are big changes in, in him. I guess not. Vito has the best record in the BBL right now. What are your goals for the whole competition? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to deny our goal is to win it, to win it all. But uh, as long as, as I said before, if we, if we stay healthy, we do have a good chance to, I mean, our, our goal is to win. That's as simple as that. Some stronger teams from FIBA Europe Cup could join the BBL from the playoffs. And when you go to play against teams like Juventus, Pianos Vegas or Cholet, does that add any extra motivation to prove that you're better? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's 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 good that uh, that those teams, if they join, that they do join. Uh, that just increases the level of the competition. And uh, I mean, we're going to be playing those teams in LKL and BBL either way. So I guess I mean it, it increases the level, and we uh, enjoy the opportunity to beat them. On paper, Vito does has assembled maybe not a very deep, but a really strong-looking roster. You have defeated Neptunas this season, struggled a little bit against Ralgris and Lietuvos Ritas at some games. Uh, but as the season goes along, do you think you can challenge these teams for the medals? Uh, yeah, we just, need to, uh, we just need to play our game as long as we stay, uh, stay together on the floor. And uh, we do have to get lucky a few games, but I can't see why we can't compete with them. To finish on a broader stroke, uh, how was 2015 for you on a personal level and what would you like for the year ahead to bring? Uh, it was good. I had a good, I had a good, uh, good season in Pos Feliz. Uh, we played well there. We, we were unfortunate. Two of our uh, good guys got lost to injury. And uh, I guess this year is going well so far, somewhat, and hopefully we can uh, continue this streak. And uh, other than that, uh, got engaged, so that's pretty cool. I guess keep looking to 2016. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you.